today we have with us Kevin Harrington. Kevin has been associated with Shark Tank. He's been associated with Entrepreneur Media for the longest years. He was first featured on the cover of Entrepreneur back in 1985. <laughs> and today it is so good that we have him right here in India. So Kevin, it's lovely having you hey, over here with us. Today. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Thank you. So, what excites you about India today, India in 2019? Well, it's, there's north of a billion people here, obviously. So <laughs> as, a, as a consumer marketplace, this is the one untapped market that I have never been able to conquer. Okay, so um, I, I started back in the early 80s selling products on TV in the United States, but we were able to go to Europe, we were able to go to Latin America and parts of Asia. But when we tried in the mid 90s coming here to India, it was very, very difficult and just not ready for us to come here um, operationally and you know all kinds of logistics that weren't ready. But now, uh, in, the, in the year of the, uh, as I think, uh, maybe the year of the entrepreneur, we could say, um, we're ready to come here and we're, we're looking to do some big things. So you made your first investment in India in New Shop, which is Correct. primarily all about organizing new age CPG goods. Correct. What What is your understanding of the CPG market of India? I mean, what is it that you've yeah. researched and yeah. what do you think would make it a great success? So what what attracted me to New Shop is that the, that New Shop, it is, their, their concept is to be able to put small stores in, in places where people work, where they live, where they play, where they work out, and where they stay, maybe at hotels, uh, etc. So um, there's, and so we, we have the ability to open stores very uh, on a very low cost basis and have distribution in workplaces uh, and, and, and many of the other things that I just mentioned. But um, this gives us a chance to, our goal, we have 30 locations now, we'll be in 200 uh, within about four months, then a thousand, and our goal is to hit 10,000 uh, within a very short period of time. So if we can have 10,000 locations, we, we, we have a real uh, a dent that we can make in the marketplace for new products that we bring on board. Do you see a, something very similar? Is it like the 7-Eleven of India that you're looking at building? Well, it, it's a much smaller scale than a 7-Eleven. So uh, I think 7-Eleven has thousands of products. Um, we'll have initially probably somewhere in the range of, 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 of a couple hundred products. Sure. So, and what we're looking for are, are fast selling kind of products. That, right. um, and this is what's interesting for me. Um, my business for 35 years has been selling kind of hard goods. Kitchen products, hardware products, fitness products. Some of these are, you know, one, you know like one time purchase kind of things. So it's it, when, when we launch a product, we have sort of a bell-shaped curve. It, you, when you buy a juicer or a, an expensive piece of fitness equipment, you don't need a second one. Um, you may not even use the first one that you bought, okay? So, um, so the, uh, the, 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 the business of New Shop is consumables. And this is what really attracted me is that we're talking about a business where when we go into the ground floor of an office building right. and now the people are coming in in the morning, they need things in the morning, they need things at lunch, they need things, we may have to see a customer three times in one day. That's so it's a, it's a very consumer driven business for consumable products. Do you see more similar, uh, do you see yourself doing more such investments in India? I do and, 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 I'll, and I'll say that first there's two sides of that. One is new shop. So just think of it this way, when we get to 10,000 locations and now a new entrepreneur, a young entrepreneur comes and says, I have a new product, would you take a look at? Well, if we put it into, if we order a dozen pieces for 10,000 locations, that's an opening order of 120,000 pieces. That could dictate us, maybe for a startup, being able to get some equity, maybe partnering, helping them with financing. So I believe that New Shop will be an opportunity for us to get involved in, in many other possible ventures. But beyond that, now that I'm here, kind of um, spending time in India and hanging out with some of the kind of fun journalists like yourself and things like that, it's, we're, we're you know, I, I, and, and by the way, it, having done a, a little bit of the Shark Tank show, people will say, hey, can I pitch you something, you know? Right. So, uh, so I get quite a few pitches and I, I, I can only see now that it's gonna be pretty powerful here in India. Yes, we just actually 
I mean, particularly for CPG and consumer goods, we just sort of starting to see the first wave of big spurt of growth happening. Yes. There used to be so primarily our tech have we have been very tech um, heavy investment market right. till now, but this year we're gonna see a lot of movement in the CPG space. Yeah. Which is something um, we're very gung ho about as a country. Yes, it should dovetail very nicely with with what we're doing uh, at New Shop. But but as a as an investor shark um, type of person, I also like to 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 take a look at other opportunities and and uh, things that think outside the box. But I'm also looking to take products and businesses from here back to, maybe to the, back US. To the U.S. Yeah, That's right. we've but already identified. Yeah, you we. See things the other way as well, the U.S. products coming to New Shop. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. So um, we have um, um, the various products that, that will be part of New Shop that come from the U.S., absolutely. The format will continue to remain the small store format. To, and yes, to start with. And the other thing, even though I say we bring products from the U.S. back to India, we may manufacture them in India along the way because there is a duty structure that is can be prohibitive in some cases right so we'll, we'll be looking to uh, align ourselves with with I, I say that in the US one of the things I can provide a, a, a young entrepreneur or startup entrepreneur is access to my Rolodex which for 35 years involves manufacturing um, sourcing uh, distribution etc but um, but in, in this particular case we want to add to our Rolodex the fact that we can take products not just around the US but also into India right. and, and and then align ourselves with manufacturers here in India which we're already doing now oh, that's so, so new shops products are all made in India right now right yeah so I mean you've interacted with a few entrepreneurs you've invested in a young team of new shop. What, what qualities do you see in Indian entrepreneurs that you feel a good affinity to with American entrepreneurs? Or what is it that you just like yeah. about them? Well, I, I like the, so far, maybe I've been lucky, but um, the, the entrepreneurs that I've been dealing with here, they're not afraid to ask for advice and, and help. And it, I will be honest, it, it, as a young entrepreneur, I was a little bullheaded in, in, in the day that I was thinking, why well, know how to do it myself? Why do I need an expensive, you know, consulting deal or mentor or whatever? But I, I found out the, the hard way and a few ups and downs myself that having good mentors and, and people that will, will, you know, help you along the way, I call it creating a great dream team. And so um, I'm very impressed when an entrepreneurial team, like I have now from the New Shop Group, came to me and said, Kevin, will you help us? And, and so right away, that, that, that's an opening step to saying, okay, well that, you know, somebody that it, it, it acknowledges that, they're, that they could use some help makes me feel good because um, it's, there, it, there is a collaboration needed in, in building a successful business, especially in today's world. It's a, it's a very, it's, it's a challenging world out there. So, so having uh, somebody open their mind to being open to taking good advice, hopefully it's good advice, right, uh, is, is, is the first step in a good relationship. As a shark investor, what kind of investments have you made in New Shop at this stage? Yes, yeah, so um, so I have a partner back in the States, uh, Haresh Mehta, who is, is born in India. Oh, yeah. And so um, he and I get together. We have about five ventures together. And he introduced me to the New Shop entrepreneurs. And so we immediately saw a, a great opportunity here because I've been a, I, I say B to C, um, business to consumer or D to C, direct to the consumer mm -hmm. entrepreneur for 35 years. And he said, Kevin, this is a model direct to the consumer that is, is going to be, you know, in 10,000 locations. And so we made an investment and now we're, we're here. This is my first trip to actually see the locations. I saw pictures and things like that. But now we're ready to start really um, opening up a Rolodex, getting more products, getting more sourcing, and and looking to uh, become much more involved, not on a day-to-day -day level, but on a on a brainstorming high-level uh, sure. kind of a, um, a assistance. Before we end it, I would love to know what are the three qualities that you handpick in entrepreneurs before you make an investment. In okay, them. so um, I love to see the first thing that I look for in an entrepreneur 
we've kind of touched on, but it's, it's, it's somebody that is willing to accept some advice and guidance. The, the, the biggest challenges that I had, the worst investment I made on Shark Tank, was somebody that I, I gave a half a million dollars to and didn't really want a lot of advice. And, 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 and about eight months later, they closed the doors. So I like somebody that is willing to accept some great advice. I, I love an entrepreneur that has a, a vision and a passion. And, and passion is, is very important because it, it, as we all know, and you've interviewed you know, many, many yes, entrepreneurs, right. there's obstacles every step of the way. Absolutely. So if you go into it without a passion, the first obstacle might knock you down. I mean, you got to get up and go back at it again. So, so I believe that that, that passion and, and, and the vision to succeed is, is, is very important. And, the, and, and, and the, the last thing I think would be um, when, when we get involved in, in, a, in an investment, we'd like to bring the dream team of experts up to help support the, the entrepreneur. And so I think it's, it's important that uh, that, that we can do that in the process and an entrepreneur that says, yes, I need a dream team, I need a great finance person, I need a great, you know, because myself, when I started, I was good in marketing, but I didn't have the finance background. I, I didn't finish college. So, um, so I, I was a little bit pigheaded in the, in the earlier days on getting the right kind of dream team. So I think creating the dream team is important and, and, and having an entrepreneur with that, with, with, with that uh, vision that's willing to do that and knows how to do it. And it's, it's you know, bringing on that advisor level. And it's sort of, like, when you think about it, why does somebody go on Shark Tank? Well, they want money. But really, I think in many cases, more than that, they want that, they want that dream team effect that the shark is gonna to bring to the table. Yeah.